Hey guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at dive torches. Now, there are plenty of dive torches on the market and they come in lots of different shapes and sizes and styles. Um, but for 2019, we just wanted to pick out five of our favorite torches right now. So in no particular order, here are five of our favorite dive torches for 2019. Okay, so first up, we've got the real sort of the big daddy as it were. So this is the Fin Sub or Fin Light uh, 3600 Short. Uh, so this does does come in a long version, which just basically means it's a cable light, but the short version is all sort of all in one package. Um, so 3600 lumens of bright white light, very, very powerful. A little bit over powerful for if you're just doing a nice uh, sort of night dive out in the Red Sea or something, uh, you won't want to use 100% of that. Uh, but in the UK, in sort of murky waters, uh, where you really want to sort of penetrate through uh, sort of poor visibility, this is a very powerful torch. So it comes as standard with this Goodman style handle, as you can see, uh, very practical because you can um, sort of loop your hand through everything and you can still use that hand um, whilst kind of holding onto that torch. Um, instead of having to physically hold onto the torch, that way you, you can't use your hand for anything else. Um, so everything about it is very tough. Uh, the glass on the front is borosilicate, um, and then the torch body itself, anodized aluminium. Uh, very easy to use uh, sort of activation, so you rotate this ring, and that's going to uh, sort of change the power settings, uh, and then you can dial it back again. And you've got this kind of rubberized silicone ring around that, so even if you're wearing gloves, you still get some decent uh, sort of grip but that's magnetic so uh, you don't have to worry about uh, sort of water ingress through a button or anything rechargeable as well most torches nowadays are becoming rechargeable they have that sort of power cell built in um, but yeah very big very powerful uh, but really more for the um, uh, sort of rubbish visibility where you need something that powerful to penetrate Going down smaller, uh, this is a bit more a uh, sort of traditional primary light for most recreational divers. This is the Scuba Pro Nova 850. Uh, this is the R version, the rechargeable one, which is a little bit smaller than the standard version. Standard version uses three big C cell batteries, um, but it's that little bit bigger. This one comes with a rechargeable battery. Um, 850 lumens is quite bright. Um, this is on the, the sort of the higher end of what I consider. Um, sort of uh, bright so I tend to stick around the kind of 700 lumens um, especially on like Red Sea holidays night dives and whatnot um, but again for the UK diving yeah it's perfect for uh, sort of penetrating so focus beam on this uh, it comes in both a spotlight, which is this one, and a floodlight, uh, which kind of uh, sends out that light a bit more evenly. So I prefer spotlights because it's better for communicating and sort of penetrating through uh, sort of murky visibility, whereas a floodlight just illuminates an entire scene. Uh, that's more for videographers and photographers, uh, whereas for everyday to use, uh, I tend to go for a sort of spotlight beam. Uh, then we're moving on to the SIAC R20. So this, uh, again, is becoming sort of very modern where you have an adjustable beam angle. Uh, so again, sort of rechargeable and it's a spotlight, but if you rotate the head, it can become a floodlight uh, sort of in the water. So depending on what you want to do, it's a bit more flexible. Uh, you can also control the, uh, the power setting that comes out of it along with uh, sort of a lot of other torches. So you don't have to use the full uh, sort of 100% power, you can dial it down. That means that your battery is gonna last a little bit longer and it means that you're not dazzling yourself or your friends. Uh, and then we're moving on to a lighter motion solar uh, 2000. So again, this is on the high sort of level of brightness, 2000s, um, but again, you can dial it down. Now this one does need a recharge, unfortunately, so I can't show you the, um, uh, what the beam looks like, but you have a, uh, an adjustable beam angle. This is between 60 degree floodlight, so it's gonna illuminate an entire scene. And um, because it's got these different LED sort of arrays on the inside, you and also switch it to a spotlight to, uh, to focus that light or a kind of combination of the both. 
So I particularly like this one because it comes with this um, sort of soft Goodman style handle, uh, so you can still sort of hold onto it and still use your, your hands for whatever you need to do. Rechargeable, it's factory sealed, so you never have to worry about sort of greasing O-rings or swapping batteries over. And uh, it has a very intuitive uh, sort of activation switch. It's magnetic, um, so there's no chance of water ingress through that, um, but very quick and easy to, uh, to get used to. And uh, you can just twist it 90 degrees and that sort of locks it. So if you're uh, stowing it away in a bag or a pocket, it's not gonna switch on all by itself. Okay, and then we go to um, something a little bit smaller, uh, but just as powerful. This is the Exposure Marine Action 19, uh, or 16, sorry. Uh, again, factory sealed inside, it's got the battery inside. Very small, compact little torch, but very powerful. This has about a thousand lumens of bright white light. Uh, rechargeable as well, um, so very easy to use. This one needs, oh no, it does work. Um, so this one still has some battery life in it. You can actually tell on the back here, um, this little sort of amber red light, the LED, this is a battery level indicator, so it's telling you exactly how much battery it has left. Um, so red is telling me that it's running a little bit low. Um, very easy to recharge, it's got a magnetic connector on the back, so that just naturally sticks in uh, and then plug it into a USB port. A lot of rechargeable torches are, uh, are going that way, powered by a USB um, to the cable that um, you use the same, uh, the same cable or the same charger from your, your smartphone or your tablet. Just plug a USB cable into it and that will recharge it. Um, I particularly like this one because it's very compact. Um, it's got that sort of focus 16 degree uh, beam angle, uh, but a thousand lumens means it's nice and powerful as well. Okay, so there were five of our favorite dive torches, but let us know which dive torch you use in the comments and why. All of these are available at our website, simplyscuba.com. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.